Right, I'm going to show you how to calculate how old somebody is by knowing their date of birth and by getting Excel to automatically put in today's date. And I've done this putting today's date in automatically where it will automatically update when you open on another date as well. I've done that in other tutorials so you can have a look at it there but I'll show you very quickly here how to do that too. So this is Excel 2003, I'm going to show you in 2010 and it's basically the same on the Mac as well. Instead of clicking on the insert function here, which is in exactly the same place, it's called the formula builder. And you just then need to go and find a function in the date and time category on all of them. And the function builder comes up on the Mac and you can scroll down to see that there as well. So I'm just going to scroll down here. You can see there is today. It's a function. I'm going to click on it. It automatically inserts it there. It's coming up with these function arguments. There are none. Click on OK on the Mac. You just simply press Enter and it pops it in there for you. If I open this on another date, that would automatically update as well. So I want to calculate the age. Now that simply is a calculation and it does the same thing in 2010 as well. Let me just switch to 2010 for a moment because again, it's also the insert function here. And again, it is the today function. The today function can also, I'm just going to click on cancel on this, can also be found here on the date and time. And if you scroll down that list, and I'm just going to move this down so you can actually see it there. It says today. I haven't actually moved this far enough down. There you are. It uh, says today just there. I just click on it and it inserts it. And again, I just click on OK. So to do the age, and this is the same on all of them, you just need to do equals and you take that and you subtract it from that one there. Now that's going to give it to us in days and let me just press enter and it's done it there. It's 11,529 days. Now that calculation isn't correct and we're just going to go and fix this in the formula bar here. I'm going to click here and clearly we need to divide it by 365, you've got to take the leap years into account. So you've got to put in 0.25 there. Now, if you remember your arithmetic, you'll know that it always does the multiplication, the divide first before it does addition and subtraction. So in this case, what it would do is it would do the B2 minus and it will divide B1 on its own divided by the 365.25. So to fix that, and to get it to do the subtraction first, which you need it to do, you put brackets around that bit. So it'll do that bit first, and then it will divide it by 365.25. And I press enter. And it tells me that person is 31.564817 days old. So they're 31 and a half, basically. So it does it quite simply like that. I'm going to go back to 2003. Now, this is not a problem when you're doing this in Excel on the newer version, say 2007 on the Mac 2011 or in Excel doing it in 2010, as you've just seen. If you're using older versions of Excel, whether it be on the Mac or on the PC, you're going to run into a little problem. I'm just going to do this calculation again. I'm going to throw the brackets in straight away and divide it by 365.25. Don't forget that 0.25 there is actually important. Press enter. Now it's done it correctly here, but sometimes it comes up putting it in as a date function and it could have looked. I'm just going to go to my format cells by right clicking here. It's exactly the same on the Mac as well to do this. So I'm just going to click on OK and you'll see it's coming up looking like that. That can happen. If that does happen, just right click or go to format menu, choose format cells. Here's your format cells dialog box. You're on number, just click on general and click on OK and it puts it in correctly for you. So just be aware sometimes it can also reformat it as a date. So that is how you can calculate how old someone or something is in Excel.